What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy coming at you. Um, just basically wanted to give a quick tour of the inside of my truck. I have a Peterbilt, which is a super automatic. Um, let's go to the outside first. Okay. There I have my Ram McNally. Um, here's my driver tech. There's my blindside camera, which is actually excellent. That's one of the things that I respect US Express for. Is providing that because that actually helps out a lot um, down there is my Bluetooth which is a stereo Bluetooth that you can control your music and make phone calls and everything through there's my holster for my phone here's my garbage can <laughs> now underneath this brown towel is my refrigerator um, up here is my microwave it's a 900 watt microwave um, here's my toast oven, which works actually great. Um, down here, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's my hundred and, I mean, a fifteen hundred watt inverter. Seems to power basically everything, so it works pretty good. Here's my thirty two inch flat screen, which is a Philips TV, which has like the internet and it's uh, Wi Fi ready and everything. There's my PS three. Now it's not normally over there when I'm sleeping. I normally just put it inside this, one of the storage closets. Um, there's my speakers that's hooked up to my laptop, which is my VGN uh, 2X2 VGN UX 280p Fio. Um, they're all hooked up to Bluetooth, which is right there. That's a Belkin Bluetooth receiver. Everything's hooked up through there because I don't like too many wires, and as you can see, that didn't help much because there's wires everywhere. There's my PS Vita. There's my Android Watch phone. Now this thing right here is my Virgin Mobile Overdrive um, Pro. This is the 3G and 4G model. Now I love this thing. The reason why I had to get one of these is because I have T-Mobile and this thing, T-Mobile does not work in every state. You know, I'm normally um, roaming onto AT&T which seems to be everywhere and T-Mobile only gives you 50 megabytes of data roaming which is pointless. So I had to buy something like this in order to you know have the web when I'm you know driving through e these states that don't have T-Mobile. T T-Mobile seems like to be in every major city but everywhere else there is no T-Mobile so I had to get I had to get that in order to enjoy the internet while I'm stopped um, this thing is pretty neat though it has like a color screen and it's pretty fast now the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they put a cap on 3G versus 4G so you only get 2.5 gigs of 3G and they don't even throttle you they just you just have no service after that but when you are around 4G it's unlimited I like what that doesn't even make sense but anyway um, here I have some air fresheners because as you can see I am a smoker so I don't want my truck you know smelling like a box of Newports I'm a solo driver, so there is a top bunk, but it's raised up because I'm a solo driver. Up there is also some air fresheners. Those things work miracles. Um, when I'm driving, I just put all of this to the side. I lay my TV down on the bed. It doesn't bounce around, doesn't get scratched. That seems to work. Um, I have baby wipes because I don't use tissue. I feel like tissue is pointless. You're just smearing your dew. <laughs> and you walk away with baby wipes it's just a lot better there is my rear AC controls right there is my bunk heater now if you leave that thing on all night you will be in here cooking you will be my if you was white you will be my complexion <laughs> you'll be my complexion by the end of the like end of the night that thing oh god it oh, it just it warms this truck up like no tomorrow um I think that's it now the only thing i'm having problems with so this is more like a journal is the company itself i don't like the fact that they force dispatch you on loads and that they've been giving me like some really shitty loads like going to south carolina going to north carolina not that i have a problem with the states i have a problem with the roads west virginia oh my god if you were a truck driver you should know what i'm talking about i had a 40 what was it 44 thousand pound load going through West Virginia, going up hills 10 miles an hour. It was snowing, raining, you know, it's like, it's crazy. I'm like, you know, these must be the loads that all the people is refu refusing 
because I'm a new first seat driver. You know, I'm not a lease driver. Lease drivers can refuse those loads. I can't. But it's just crazy. Right now I'm in Ohio. I got a bad trailer, so they want me to take this trailer somewhere to get fixed. I'm like, no, just give me another trailer. This trailer is bad because it hangs to the right so hard that you don't even know if that thing is creeping up on the sidewalk. So <sighs> Now I might reconsider this i'm not sure if it's this company or maybe all the companies are like this or i might i should just stick to the devil that i'm used to but everybody say oh you know driving trucks is a good job and it's good money i still have not seen the good money yet i i've been with this company five months and i have not seen a check over four hundred dollars well over five hundred dollars you might as well say still have not seen one so it's like you know i'm starting to reconsider because i was making four hundred dollars on four hundred and five dollars on unemployment every week it's like I went to school, paid all this money for this license to make what I was making on unemployment. And I'm dry, I'm sitting behind the wheel driving 10 hours a day. You know, that just doesn't make sense to me. And I got a family. I got bills. I got car notes. I can't live off $400 with this economy. No way. So am I reconsidering? I mean, I'm just trying to see if I'm if it's going to balance itself out. Maybe it's because I'm new or whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to see if it's going to balance itself out. If not, then I have to choose another route because this is not going to support me. It's not. I mean, if I lived in this truck and I didn't have any bills, then, yeah, I can live off that. But I don't. So, you know, I, I am reconsidering at this point. And it's not, you know, it's not the comp It's not the company. It's the pay. The pay is not what I expected at all. So, anyway, um, as promised, I will do a video on my Android watch phone as far as the updated clean ROM because a lot of people want to see that. So, I will do that in a second. But I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a tour of, like, what the inside of a truck looked like. I know you've probably seen videos like this for a long time, but I think every truck is different. Now, I have a condo because, as you can see at the top, uh, there's a lot of room up there. And, um... I think the Peterbilt is considered like one of the biggest in the industry as far as room in the back. I drove in a Freightliner and I've seen the, Ken, the Kenwoods and Freightliner is pretty good. I like the shelf space on the Freightliner because the shelf is here at bed level, not all the way up here where the top bunk is. So I just think that the shelf level is pretty pointless with all the way up here. But the Freightliner has a pretty decent space on the back. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I have a wireless Bluetooth keyboard which has a mouse there. But, um, yeah, it's pretty roomy in here, so I'm comfortable with it. But, um, like I said, it's that pay that's a problem. I don't mind the driving. I love driving. You know, I drove for UPS for many years, so um, I, it's just the pay that's an issue with me. But, anyway, um, I'm going to cut this short because I'm running out of time. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, yeah, the other day I saw an overtone truck that look like a really bad accident i hope the guy or female didn't hurt themselves or hurt anyone else but my thing is you guys need to slow down out there these loads will get there i drive the speed limit i obey the law and i get my loads there all the time you know these truck drivers be speeding you know they driving 80 miles an hour this snow rain and everything else fog on the ground and they they're just going crazy out there on the road y'all need to stop that you're going to hurt yourself and hurt somebody's family you know what I'm saying? The load is not the load is not worth your life. Those things can be replaced. You cannot. So y'all need to slow down and really stop wilding out on the road like that, man. Because it doesn't make no sense. You're gonna kill somebody, if not kill yourself. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys soon.